Hi, my name's Sandy Kane. I work at Cambridge University Botanic Garden. Um, unfortunately, due to circumstances, I am working at home at the moment, but normally today I would be doing gardening club with St Paul's Primary School. So because I'm unable to do that, I thought I'd do gardening club with you. So um, over the next 10 to 12 weeks, I'm going to be doing a short video about what you can do at home to grow vegetables. So whether you've got a beautiful garden like me, or whether you have just got a sunny windowsill at home, we will be providing information and uh, hopefully some interesting facts about how you can do this for yourself at home. So this week's video is going to be about planning and we're going to start with seeds. Come and have a look at my seeds. About the things that you really want to eat that's where to start really things that you really want to eat are the only things to grow the other thing is thinking about things that will come quite quickly so the things that I've got that are going to come hopefully within the next 10 to 12 weeks radish chard loads of nice lettuce I'm quite excited about my lettuce uh, and spinach there's plenty of other things you can grow. I'd definitely be starting sunflowers now and kids really, really, really love growing sunflowers and marigolds and there's loads of things. <laughs> so get online now and have a look and see if there's things you can buy, but you can also get things when you go to your local supermarket for that um, important shop. So the other thing you need to think about is containers. Obviously I've got a few containers already but you don't have to use regular containers. You can do recycling, so start collecting your um, yogurt parts, margarine parts, even toilet roll centers so that you can start seeds off in there. The next thing that I'm gonna think about doing today is starting composting. So we'll go and look at my compost bin. This is how I start my compost. Um, I save all of my um, kitchen waste in a paper bag and it fills up after about a week but you can save your kitchen waste in anything I then sprinkle my kitchen waste in the top of my uh, plastic compost bin or Dalek as I call it and I put the paper bag on top that's because compost is the best when it's 50% approximately 50% green waste and 50% brown waste so green waste is things like grass clippings um, kitchen stuff uh, tea bags coffee grounds anything that's kind of green and wet really uh, brown is things like paper cardboard sawdust twigs but just remember everything that you put in here if it's small it compost quicker so the smaller the better the other thing that really good compost needs is air and water so I usually get a stick in my compost bin and give it a really good shake like that um, what it does is it allows um, oxygen in for all the animals and microbes and things that are in there that are going to start all of the um, business of decomposting it quicker it needs water because um, moisture really, really helps and those animals need moisture to live too. So those are the things that make good compost. Good compost is really good for your soil because it feeds your soil and feeding your soil is the best thing you can do to grow vegetables. If you don't have a gar garlic or plastic container like this, don't worry. You can put it in a big pile and if you've got an old bit of carpet or something like that, cover it over. Um, happy composting. I think that's it for today. If you have any questions, welcome to ask them on our Twitter or Facebook page and I'll try and do my best to answer any questions about veg growing. Next week we're going to do preparing your plot for planting. So um, good luck with your seed ordering and I'll see you next week. So garden notes for this week are start ordering and buying seeds. You can do it online or when you go for your important shop. You can just order the things that you would really love to eat. Anything from lettuce, spinach, broccoli, radish, rocket, peas, beans, 
Also, you need to order compost. You can also do that online, but it's just as easy to buy it from the supermarket. Next, you need to get containers ready. So, start recycling your um, food pots. Um, use old yogurt containers, put holes in the bottom. Same with your margarine tubs. You can also use um, old plant pots, but they'll need a good wash. Last of all, start composting at home. There's nothing that will make a bigger difference to biodiversity in your garden and it will really benefit your soil and your vegetables in the long run.